I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a, a 1903 Fisher, and we've kind of um, gained a reputation, which um, I appreciate for, for being um, restorers, lovers of these beautiful antique pianos. And this is, this is a great example of one, just, uh, just barely out of the shop last week. Um, and, uh, and it turned out great. It's, it's, it's a typical um, piano from the era. 1903, as far as as far as just its size, just this massive beast of a piano, and also the ornateness. This, you you saw a lot of this kind of stuff, all of this carving and this fancy woodwork across here. You saw a lot of that kind of stuff go away um, about World War One era, which would have been 10, 12, 14, 15 years after this piano was manufactured. Um, so from like. The late 1890s to about 1910, you see a lot of this kind of thing, just just like really beautiful and ornate, where where people really threw their the manufacturers threw their all into into this kind of thing. So we've completely restored it. Um, of course, we've refinished it. So cosmetically, it's it's as close to um, what it would have looked like 115 years ago. And it's gorgeous. I hope that really comes through in the video. It's it's beautiful. Of course, when it came in, it was uh, in need of restoration, um, but uh, but now it it looks and it sounds just gorgeous. And I'll get into the the guts here in a second. Um, of course, the keyboard when it came in was was ivory, but it was all chipped up. It was just hammered, as as most ivory keyboards are. They're just in terrible condition, and so we've completely redone it, and it's a beautiful, beautiful keyboard now. It's it's in perfect condition. The decal, this is this is a replica of the decal that was there, of course, when we refinished the fall board here. We've got to sand off the old decal and put on a replica. The the pedals, same thing. Those are they're not actually original pedals. I I do like to use original pedals as much as possible, but unfortunately on this piano. These pedals were too far gone. I think one of them was actually broken in half, so we put on on pedals that would have been um, that that you know would have been typical of the look of this piano. Okay, I actually put my son on on this piano for the most part. There there were a lot of people that that uh, that um, had a hand in this piano, from the refinisher to the key guy, um, the guy that did all the prep work and the cleaning. Um, my son did the um, a lot of the a lot of the work on this, so he and he did a, a really really nice job. So let's um, let's have a look in here. So what you can see in here, you've got you've got brand new hammers, brand new dampers, new shanks. Shanks are what connect the the hammers to the to the hammer butt. All of the hammer butts have been have been um, rebushed, so they're they're nice and nice and solid. No wobbly hammers at all. And of course, it's been fully regulated. And just, in, just a big, nice, rich, full, beautiful sound. Which you, you just don't get that sound out of pianos that are manufactured today. You get a different sound. You get a very nice, pleasing sound out of some, a lot of brand new manufactured pianos, but not that sound. Um, before I actually maybe play a song, I'll show you the pedals. It's called the trap work. Everything in there has been um, cleaned up and restored as, as much as as much as we can. So all of the metal has been cleaned and um, new new felt and leather and that sort of thing. Everything's lubricated and tightened and aligned in there. It's functioning perfectly.
no, great, beautiful piano. Come in, please check it. If you are a lover of antiques like like we are, then this piano is an awesome option. Um, 1497 South State Street is the address here. Thanks for watching.